Hi everybody, Adam here. Welcome back to our ongoing video series as we build the Chesapeake and Ohio 284 Berkshire steam locomotive. This kit was designed by Jeffrey Fonda of PNW Steam Shop and really happy with how the locomotive is coming together. Really, uh, you know, really great progress since the last video. We managed to get the cab all built up and attached. We've got the entire locomotive all enclosed on the upper portion here. Uh, and you can see all the nice details at the front here. The issue at the moment is that the motors were working before I closed everything in. But in the process of getting this last compartment here all sealed in on the top, I had to shift a few wires around and it no longer works. So if I turn on the battery box here, not getting anything at all on the motors. Uh, really unfortunate. I guess I should have uh, I should have tried to. Uh, you know, do one final test as I was closing everything in, but stuff is so tightly packed in this section of the locomotive with all the wiring that, you know, it was really dicey. I was just trying to eke everything in uh, as all the, the bricks were going on top. And, you know, easy enough, something's come loose probably on the inside. I'm just gonna have to open it back up and do some fiddling around to get it working again. Hopefully it won't take too long, but still, like I said, really happy with how everything's coming together. And it's nice to see what the, you know, closer to what the finished product is going to look like. Really like what the, how the interior of the cab is coming together here. Lots of great little knobs and handles, the two seats there for the drivers of the locomotive. And, you know, just really great details and texture all the way down the, the locomotive body. As I've mentioned before, lots of little surface piping and details that will be going on here once I'm sure that we're done with opening and closing the inside of this locomotive. Uh, until that's done, it's just too easy for a lot of these things to fall off. So, that's why I'm waiting on a lot of those components, uh, you know, just so that, you know, when I'm sure, I'm sure that when they go on, they're going to stay on and I won't have to worry too much about them. So that'll be a pass after everything's done. Next up beyond getting the wiring to work inside the locomotive, the remaining parts here are for all of the wheel structure underneath here, which goes on as a separate portion of the um, a separate portion of the build. So we'll be working through that. And as part of the testing process of the, the wiring here, I temporarily took apart the tender just so that the, the battery box and the IR receiver are, you know, more easily accessible and I can test things out and make sure everything's working. Once things are good on that front, I should be able to get this back together and assembled pretty quickly. So not too worried about the tender. The big, uh, the big hiccup at the moment is just trying to get the wiring inside the locomotive here all buttoned up and uh, compressed into the structure here. As I said, very tight fit for the, the internals of this locomotive, but you know, getting close. Can see the can see the finish line here. Things are looking great, and I think this is going to be a pretty amazing locomotive once it's finished and running around our layout. So keep an eye out for upcoming videos in our uh, build series for this. We should have completion soon, hopefully, and we'll have uh, you know a final video showing the finished product as well as showing it running around our layout. So that concludes our look at our progress so far on the Chesapeake and Ohio 284 Berkshire steam locomotive. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.